What's up guys, it's good 52 and welcome back to another video. Before I start this video, I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers that have hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe, you like, you comment, you do all that jazz like normal YouTubers. And as always guys, let's get into it. Now in today's video, we are going to be reviewing Magic is Dead by Ian Frisch. Ian Frisch started off as a journalist, uh, ended up falling into the 52 by getting in contact with Chris Ramsey, became friends with him over time and eventually got introduced to Daniel Madison and this book is a result of that. So he ended up going on this monumental journey that took him from being just a journalist, squatting in this um, apartment to being a, um, to releasing magic with illusionists. So this in part is a non-fiction story, but when you read through it, there are elements of this that come across as suedo, magic theory, there's also a little bit of tutorial in there. He details some tricks that you can actually use and almost doesn't expose the method but gives you a pattern for you to follow so that you too could also replicate that trick in certain stances. It also is a very good guide for beginner magicians. Now if you are starting out as a beginner magician, I suggest that you actually read this first prior to doing anything else. So expert at the card table or anything like that, this is the place to start because this references everything that you need to know. It puts you in the right direction. I wish I had this when I first came out because believe me, this right here has everything going on. So anyway, enough of that dribble. Let's get into the review. The book comes like this. So this is the hardback version. There is a paperback version and I believe there is also an audiobook version as well. So this is the hardback version. It's printed by Day Street Press um, and it comes with this lovely dust jacket on there. So it's dark sort of crimson red. We've got this goldy yellow line around the outside and then you've got this in the middle. So it's like the Illuminati symbol with the eye providence just there and the number 52 dead above the eye. Aim fresh and the four suits of cards here. Now what is brilliant about this is um, if you ever talk to anyone who's not a magician about the 52 and you say anything about it like oh this is a secret society a lot of people will go oh what like the Illuminati and it's brilliant that that symbol which is pretty much the staple of what the Illuminati is kind of on the front there. Uh, on the back we have the blurb which goes into some detail about um, how he stumbled into this life and how he became part of this group. And down the spine here, we have got Magic is Dead, my journey into the world's most secretive society of magicians. Now if we take the dust jacket off, this is the hardcover of the book. So this is really nice, okay? It's almost like a really uh, a sort of classic uh, old school book. So I did uh, literature at university and these are sort of like, you know, your big chunky textbooks that you go and read if you were gonna be doing some research. Down the spine we have this lovely gold and black contrast. Look at the way that catches the light there. So this is Magic is Dead. And then we've got Ian Frisch and Day Street symbol just down on the bottom here. Now as we open it, but yeah exactly. So as we open it we get this on the inside. So this is the inside cover. Okay, and that is on both sides. And we've got this reverse image of a king. He's got a sword, this is 52 in the middle. He's puncturing his own heart, which makes me believe it's the King of Hearts. Um, and as well as that, we can see that the eyes have been crossed out and the magic is dead. Now, after reading all the way through to the end of this book, and there is a lot of reference about uh, shooting a bullet through Patterson's chest, it almost seems quite dignified that there is a king stabbing someone through the heart. Inside we have the main cover like this, Magic is Dead. So the book is split into two parts, part one and part two. Part one being Welcome to the Underworld, and part two, every once in a while the lion has to show the jackal who he is. The first part of the story takes you on this narrative of how a journalist starts off just contacting someone on Instagram, and next thing you know he ends up in Blackpool Magic Convention, then Magic Live, and then he's touring around the USA with these magicians and meeting all of them. As it moves into the second part of the deck, of the deck. Yeah, so the second part of this text takes you from when he's been inducted into the 52 and then as he goes through the motions of creating his own trick, the fulfilling of the 52 and then ultimately one of its members 
demise, essentially. If any of you do follow Daniel Madison, you will know about all of his past and the Nala clubs and his alliance and everything like that. So that's something that, uh, that's just Ian saying I can use some pictures in his book. You will know all about the past history and that and if anyone was at any of the Daniel Madison meetups they will know that it was something that he, he had to put behind him and move forward which is detailed in the book. So one of the cool things that is in this book is that at the top of every chapter we have these hands. Now any of you that do uh, are you know keen-eyed they might notice that these are Daniel Madison's hands um, due to the tattoos on there and one of them does have the nine of clubs down the side which we know he's got tattooed on him and subsequently had crossed out. Ian Frisch does put in the acknowledgement that Chris Ramsey is one of the his biggest acknowledgements in there because um, he got him into this world. Daniel Madison has a very big influence in him and as you follow the story through there is a lot of checking in with Madison um, almost like a like an older brother thing sort of it almost feels like that as he's always checking in. I haven't heard of him for a while he's always checking in on him and he does reference quite a lot of Daniel Madison stuff in the book in fact the book's title does come from a Daniel Madison original work he'd sent Ian Frisch a book um, after they first met magic is dead a 52 page manifesto each page a short de declarative statement almost like poetry and page 52 the last page of that book is titled magic is dead what i will say is this book definitely is something that you should pick up and read one because it is the first detail into the 52 that we have ever had and there are small bits in there that you as a reader myself i sat back and was like oh that's amazing or that it, it points to something that has happened in terms of something you may have watched on youtube so for example Ian starts talking about some of the Magic Live stuff, some of the Blackpool Convention stuff, and also just some of Chris Ramsey's videos that he's been in, and the YouTube uh, summit that they did in LA. They talk about that, and he talks about those things happening. He talks about, you know, everyone that you follow on Instagram and YouTube, like Alex Mandrea, Xavier Spade, Orbit Brown, uh, Franco Paschelli, who used to be an entry. You've got Doug McKenzie. Every, every pop body who is somebody in Magic, in terms of the new generation, is in this textbook and I use textbook because yes it is a novel but at the same time half of this book details so much amazing magical moments in there that you can like Daniel Madison does reconstruct the trick and apply it for yourself and I did do one of the tricks from here on my partner after reading about it uh, and it's just so it's a different way of looking at magic from reading this book and I can tell you that it's almost like a self not a self-help not a motivational book, but something along those lines. It sort of realigns you from where you were to where you are. That kind of makes any sense to anyone. Drop a comment down below and let me know. Um, but yeah, I, it definitely changed my perception of what I was doing to what I am now doing. And I can tell you that shift in culture and behaviour has definitely helped already. Um, and it's only like, I've only finished this today. Which doesn't make sense saying today because YouTube, if you have any time, you can watch it at time. Anyway. Definitely go check out this book. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, make sure that you like, you subscribe, you comment down below, and you hit that notification bell. Head over to my Instagram, and as always, guys, bye!